Hey there everybody, uh, just a quick update here. We're getting going for the day. There's the Doblo in the same camp as yesterday. Uh, we haven't moved. Um, I got in quite late last night. As I said, I'd eaten already. Um, so I thought today before I move on, I'll go for another wander into Rotterdam city centre. Yesterday I caught the tram in and walked back. Today I'm gonna to walk in and walk back. Try and take a couple of different routes. It's a beautiful sunny day again uh, so we're lucky and so I'm going to try and put the drone up over the canals get some shots of the bridge before I head into town see what else I can see and then we'll probably try and move on early this evening to Eindhoven which will be the last city that we can visit here in uh, Holland before Germany all right guys just before I leave that's one more shot of uh, the old stadium and yeah I'll uh, update you all from um, Rotterdam city centre when we get there or maybe from the bridges on the way we'll see if there's anything pretty all right see you in a bit guys just uh, recording a quick uh, update here on our way into uh, Rotterdam city centre we stopped in a nice pretty park uh, which has got some funky buildings in it like this little water tower little basketball courts where we're going to play some ball in and then this way we've got some um, weird dome shaped buildings and the old canal with some shipping traffic coming in so that's uh, our little walk in here at the moment we're about halfway in I uh, haven't found the bridges yet but uh, just thought I'd show you this this funky little park the whole thing has turned into quite a long walk getting into uh, Rotterdam city centre which is probably why I should have taken the tram again but it's been some quite nice scenes on the way in there's these uh, floating houses on this canal which is uh, very nice very nice more updates as uh, we get closer to the actual city center here so I finally fi made, uh, made it all the way over to the bridges here this is that I'm on now is the Koningsheven or De Hef bridge and over there in the distance is the Erasmus bridge we try and find some nice place to launch the drone from around here and uh, we'll see how that goes nice conditions for them not too windy or anything like that and maybe get some nice shots of the skyline over there the city scopes and everything like that which will be quite cool I think right we'll see what we think about that in a bit and I'll update you when we get to Merkel I just thought I'd give you a quick shot of this one as well This is the one we just went across over here. But yeah, funky pair of bridges. Guessing that's like that to get a big, a big boat through. So uh, if they're building them like this, when Jeff Bezos had his uh, yacht built over here the other day and they had to rebuild the bridge, I'm guessing it was something like this that they had to knock down just to get his boat through. Cheeky old Bezos, eh? Alright guys, just another quick update here. Um, we're just about to cross the final bridge uh, on our way into uh, the city centre. Um, it's uh, be been a nice walk in and uh, basically as soon as I got down to this lock side I've uh, flown the drone and found it absolutely stunning. Um, I'm going to come back here for sunset because over that side you're not allowed to fly the drone. Um, but over here you are. Uh, the airport's the other side of the city. So this is... Uh, I basically booked me in to stay here for Rotterdam for another day, so uh, I'm going to head head out tomorrow. Um, I, but uh, basically, I can drive the van here in the morning uh, before I leave and get get another load of flights in. So, I mean, Rotterdam from air is much better than Rotterdam from the ground uh, for the photos. And uh, yeah, just absolutely loving it. So I uh, thought I'd update you from here. We're going to cross cross that red bridge now, and uh, yeah, I'll update you from the city centre. I've uh, just made it into the city centre and uh, arrived this time in the maritime quarter, which I thought was uh, quite pretty and funky, so I thought I'd just quickly show you that. I'm going to keep heading in right into the bit, middle of the city centre. Um, this is kind of like the outskirts. Um, tram dropped me off a little bit closer than this yesterday, so there's still, still a bit more, but yeah, I thought that was a uh, pretty, pretty cool little maritime district there. Gone for another round of the old Vietnamese street foods today. Got to be done. Chicken balls and chicken sticks. Oh yeah. 
Nice little treat. Tell me really what's going on here, but uh, this uh, helicopter here just landed a moment ago. Um, I, I was uh, way, way over there and uh, saw it come in. Just happened to be walking up here, so we'll see what's going on. That's the uh, science center in the background there. I'll uh, give it a minute, see if it takes off, see what goes on. It's sunset and uh, I want to go fly my drone, so uh, I'm going to go shoot me off down here. I can't be asked to wait to see what happens. But uh, we'll be back in a little bit, because this is meant to be quite nice at night time, this thing. So uh, yeah, we'll be back to shoot down in a bit, but off to shoot uh, sunset with the drone over Rotterdam Harbour. Just recording uh, another little section here. It's just after sunset uh, down by the river where we were earlier. Um, I came back down to fly the drone a couple more times and uh, yeah, it was absolutely stunning for sunset. Uh, and now I've been doing a few shots of the old uh, nighttime skyline. Uh, also, also really pretty. So yeah, gonna wander in, maybe grab a beer, see if there's anything else going on. It's uh, Friday night here in Rotterdam. So um, yeah, we'll see, see what the vibe is and uh, see what's going on. Just to do a quick sign off here for Rotterdam for today. Uh, went into town, had a few beers for Friday night. It's been quite nice. Met some fun people, had some uh, nice drinks and some fun places. And uh, yeah, just, just by that uh, De Hof bridge now, en route back to the camper van. Uh, pretty knackered. It's like half three in the morning now. I've got like another half hour of walking. Uh, so. Pretty, pretty, pretty keen for bed to get this bag off my back and the shoes off when I get home. But yeah, been another fantastic day here in Rotterdam. Had another fantastic day on the trip. So yeah, check in tomorrow and update you with what we're up to when we've got a plan for there. Night, guys. Just another very quick bit to, to add in on my walk back. I saw some uh, gents here, just back there, uh, it, it playing uh, the, the futsal game, which was it's three in the morning here. And uh, there's, a, there's a whole bunch of lads out playing that, so it's uh, uh, quite entertaining. But uh, very, very interesting to watch them play it so well this hour. Quite cool. Uh, so, yeah, this is uh, from Feyenoord area. So I, I'm guessing uh, very football mad that they're here playing 3 a.m. But anyway, signing off again, guys. Just uh, almost back to the van now, back at the stadium. So, update tomorrow. <laughs>